Top of the morning, Racing World. This is the second edition of the Morning Dash. Glorious Goodwood. How did you get on yesterday? We'll be talking about a little bit of review at the Racing Post. You join us on the YouTube media channels. Like and subscribe. That's what it's all about. Let us know you're out there in association with Unibet. We'll be here you all the way until Saturday morning. We've got a different panel for you. Could be mischievous. Potentially this morning for you. Do not go anywhere over the next hour. Bryce Wise himself, Tom Siegel, makes the journey down. Yeah, I'm here. I oh, know, yeah. absolutely. I'm just rubbing my eyes, Tom. <laughs> you are absolutely here. Yeah, delight. It's a big week, isn't it? Yeah, it's great fun, isn't it? And I'm not that far away, so coming down here is no problem at all. Uh, before we move on, is it, it is it a course that's been kind to you? No, not really. It's not my <laughs> yeah. not my cup of tea. Don't like twisty turny tracks. Was like it kind ones. to you yesterday? Uh, not especially. I backed Isaac Shelby. Was yeah. the, was the one bet I had and uh, couldn't get past the old favourite Kinross, which was a bit annoying. But there we go. He ran a bell today, didn't he? Did ran really well. Okay, joining us as well, prone punter. Everyone loves him. Matty Williams. We do as well. Matty, great morning. to have you on. Morning, Dave. You okay? I saw you there yesterday at the course. Yeah, good day. I got yeah. the first two winners, and then it went downhill after that. But yeah. we had a good time. Well, you did better than me, that's for sure. Yeah. Kills, how did we get on yesterday? Yeah, all right. You got a bit of a deep voice. Were you out last night? <laughs> oh, listen, I was with you in the curry house, <laughs> and Brett Williams from <laughs> Unibet yeah. as well. Now it's coming out. <laughs> Have I got a deep voice this morning? Uh, a little bit deeper than normal, I think. All right, yeah. okay, all right. Thanks well, for digging me out already, <laughs> Kills. Uh, Brett, great to have you along. Ed Nicholson, your boss, was with us last night. Uh, now, I left you in this curry house. He was soaking wet in his Panama uh, and, you know, in his, in his linen suit. Did you escort him home all right? I did. I think it's a good job that the pub's closed at sort of half 11 because Ed was sort of just getting in the mood to go for a party. So, but no, I was like, come on, we've got to get back. We've got a show to do tomorrow. And, uh, no, yeah, good day. Good day for the bookies yesterday, actually. I yeah, you were there, Ed, uh, uh, Brett, sorry, weren't you? And uh, did you snare a winner? No, I didn't think it was silly. Mm, all right. <laughs> but um, all right. Um, it, from, a, from, a, from a point of view, for me getting paid next month, we'll be okay because obviously a great ride by Tom Mark Hand on, on Quickthorn, which oh, we'll get got to us it. out of trouble yesterday. So, um, right. no, I'm, I'm think I'm safe to get paid this month anyway because we had a good result yesterday. Yeah, all right. Okay, you'll see that I've smartened up in a bid to change my luck I've got I look like I'm running a restaurant Matty says you look like you're going to Cheltenham <laughs> oh it's Cheltenham weather isn't it that's what it is that's exactly why I put it and, on and the aim of the day is to win enough money to buy Tom and Ireland board is <laughs> steady on steady on all right okay Brett, before we go on and get our teeth stuck into it some big tips coming your way and I'll tell you what there are some shorties today as well we'll see what the panel think of them we've got some offers right yeah, loads of offers today, loads of exclusive offers. If you go on to unibet.co.uk, we've got plenty for you to look forward to. In our 150 today, which is the first thoroughbred race on the card, if you back the second or the third in that race, we'll give you your money back as cash. And then we'll pay extra places in three races on the card, the 225, the 445 and the 520. So extra places each way in that. And also, as if that's not enough, we've got Super Boost for you as well in two races, the Mulcom and, of course, the feature race, the Sussex Stakes on the card. We'll be boosting the price of every runner in that race. So Super Boost in the 3 o'clock, 3.35, extra places in the 2.25, the 4.45 and the 5.20. And, of course, your money back if you back the second or the third in the first race, which I think is where we're going to kick off with, aren't we? When I saw that you pouring your last glass like last night, that, that, that was a long, 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 long against him doing that you last night. Come back. <laughs> He's been up for about five hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eddie's happy having his eggs in bed right now, isn't he? I think, absolutely. Great to have you, Brett. Nicholson. All right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nicholson who? Absolutely. All right, OK, so it is the 150. It's a mile four handicap. This is always a ripper, isn't it? And uh, Brett, I'll, I'll stick with you, Brett, because Amleto, handicap debut, uh, at least one person on this panel has put up a two-point bet in the Racing Post, I think. We'll get to find out. Uh, where's he sitting at the moment? Yeah, he's been, been very well backed as well. It was twos, now into 15 to 8. In fact, it was actually 9 to 4 when we first opened the book on this. So, yeah, has been strong support for this, this Senate Sea of the Stars. Who I think, obviously, ground is, is going to be crucial, as we all know. There's been plenty of rain around. It did win on soft ground at Chester, so that, obviously, is, is a big tick, um, tick in the box. Willie Haggis has got his team in great form. I think he's got a 24% strike rate at the minute. So, team are in good form, jockey in good form, you know, very unexposed. Like a few of them, obviously, a few of them making their handicap debut. So, uh, you, you've got a, there could be a few unexposed in it. And po also seen a bit of support for, for Clan Chieftain as well. First run since a wind up as well, um, which on soft ground, <laughs> you need a horse that can breathe. Yeah. And that's a silly sort of statement to make, but you know, that, that may happen as well. But no, it's, yeah, definitely Amleto the best back in that first race today. Kills, take it away. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those. I mean, he was actually fours when the market first first opened, and uh, I just I just looked at him and I thought this is such an obvious one that's going to get smashed. Uh, he's 
He's a brother, first of all, to of class. Uh, two mm. dual group one winners, should have won the arc against Enable. And he's running off 89. Uh, now, he was fifth on his second run last year in a maiden that worked out ridiculously well, won by Mostabshire. I think nine of the 14 horses won a race. Uh, and then he came out and he won on bad ground at Chester. He won very, very easily. The, the runner-ups won off 80 on Monday. And uh, he's, he's running off 89. He's a soft ground horse. He could easily have a stone or more in hand. And it was actually the first ride that Tom Markand had after being kicked just before the Guineas meeting. And uh, he said afterwards, this is why you come back for exciting horses like this. Like, you know what I mean? So you know, you know what they, they think of him. He's obviously had a, he's had a minor problem since, because he said, you know, I think Haggis said he, uh, he fell apart a little bit uh, after the race, but so they've given him plenty of time. Um, he's just going to be miles ahead of his mark. There may be others who are, and it all depends on how short you want to go. Mm. I haven't backed him at two at one. I've backed him at a, a, a bit bigger than that. Um, he's very so nice. for anyone that hasn't played now, <laughs> For anyone, that, for anyone that hasn't played, he's getting to the point where you think, hang on a minute, do I really want to be backing? You know, I've already had my fingers burnt by backing a short price Haggis train favourite uh, at Goodwood. Um, but it was nothing to do with bad luck in running. I thought Millboss just didn't want to know mm. yesterday. Not that I believe. Yeah, um, so he's, he's off the list. But um, <laughs> I mean, this is, this is a far less exposed horse and you know, more likely to run his race. But there are other interesting ones in, in there. Lord Rutherford got kills off to a fire yesterday. He did. The ball big there. Uh, Tom, let's come to you then. Look, it all sounds very good, doesn't it? Two to one. Yeah, it's just a ground thing, isn't it? I mean, I know he uh, won at Chester on soft ground, but his sister didn't like it. She was fast. He, Willie Haggis refused to run her on soft ground for ages until the arc, which she handled. But it wasn't bad, bad arc ground. It was sort of good to soft that day and art. So it's just a ground thing with him. If you want to take 15 to 8 on terror, what could be... He says he, it, he says he won't mind it. He says he won't mind it. It was really bad last time when he, when he won. Wasn't yeah, it? but it wasn't. It was only a maiden at the end of the yeah. day. This yeah, is a step up. This is a, yeah. this is a step up in class, yeah. isn't it? In a competitive it didn't look handed. very scoopy to me. The odds mm. didn't like, look like there was a lot of lot of improvement. I thought he took a bit of a bit of a while to wind up on the ground, and then his class saw it through. I, I wouldn't be certain he'll love the ground. No. See, see, the stars is mainly on top ground. of the ground. Yeah, really so that's the only negative you got against him because he's bound to be very well handicapped, isn't he? He's bound to be, but at the end of his career, you'd be surprised if he's not rated in the hundreds. So, so what is the secret? Well, I thought Westerton had run well, just yeah. simply because he's very solid. He ran behind, he ran in a very good Nottingham Maiden last year on soft ground. Artistic Star won it, who went on to be sixth in the Derby and is running in the Gordon States mm. tomorrow. Uh, he likes soft ground. He, I thought he was impressive at Sandown uh, two starts ago. Forms worked out quite well. It was one of those maidens that was. 30 grand to the winner, something like that. So a so lot of good horses ran in it. Last time, a little bit disappointed, but he was trapped on the wing at Newmarket. I quite that. liked the run. Did I, you? I, 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 I was like expecting to finish. Well, I was expecting him to finish off a bit better, to be honest, because I thought he came there looking like he might win. And then Killybeg's Warrior went again and, and, and sort of left yeah, him in the last that Johnson long. Farm race, wasn't it? The one, it yeah. was, it yeah. was. Yeah. Uh, but I think I expect a mile and a half to suit. You know, he's bred to say a mile and a half. He's... Uh, Bred to like the ground. We know he likes the ground from last year. So I just thought he was solid each way at around six to one. If the favourite, you know, if the favourite's too good, fair enough. But I thought he'd run well. I'm doing a lot of nodding there. He's got Ryan Moore on, of course, obviously as well. But not the only person that's seen the ball big in this race, Matty Williams. No, I mean, listen, I've got respect for the favourite, but all of Tom's points are valid as a polls. But I'm going to take a flyer here on French Invasion. Hasn't been on for ages. Um, kicked off on the all weather just just in the, after the new year. So we had three runs January, February. Kempton bolted up, and I thought when he won there, I thought, right, Goodwood, you know, however many months time. Then he went to Lingfield, won again, and then he went to Suttle, bit of a drifter, um, drifted over to the left hand side. But he had three, three runs in just over a month. Big horse, um, not really bred for the old weather. By La Havre, also monsoon mate, he should have loved the conditions today. Yeah. It's a bit of a flyer, hasn't been out for ages, but I'm sure. It's an interesting angle, isn't it, that a horse has got himself handicapped on a completely different surface that he didn't get a Yeah, and why have, they, why have they been in a rush to give him three runs mm. like that at that time of the year? You had him pegged for Goodwood straight away. I mean, after this is Kemp obviously the stable that after, aimed that way, didn't they? Yeah, after Kempton, I thought, how are they going to get to Goodwood yeah. with this horse? And Charlie Braveheart's on record of saying that he, this is his, uh, he's been targeting loads yeah, of so horses for this they, meeting. They so this has got to be one of them. That isn't working well, yeah. would he? Do you know what I mean? So I just think it's a real interest and we're at a nice price. All right. And okay. Frankie's on it. You know? Yeah, absolutely. He's, he's looking for his double, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, Brett, um, have you got a tip in this for us? 
I think I'm just going to go with the favourite, to be honest. Um, you you Kiels. Kiels has obviously got the prize, um, but yeah, I think yeah, just, I think we'll learn a lot, a lot from that first race. Exactly how the grind is, where the best place to be drawn is for the handicaps later on. But yeah, it's not an inspiring selection. But yeah, I'm netto for me in the first. So we are in situ in West Sussex. I mean, hammered down last night there, Tom. It was absolutely biblical. Wasn't yeah, it? I'm, I'm, I'm ten minutes from the track and it didn't stop. Woke yeah. me up actually. So well, just, under seven saying, mil? just under seven mil. So it's only still only soft, good at soft in places, but it's what there is to come. Mm. Yeah, forty mile an hour <laughs> winds, and it's going to lash down from mm. about well, from about ten a.m. Apparently, I'd say so those outside bars today are not going to be quite as popular yeah. as they were. <laughs> They're going to be inside the stands. You're not there. That's why well, I'm going to be there, Brett. I'll tell you. So don't worry about that. Look at me. I'm, I'm dressed and ready to go again. Uh, I'll be the mate. Dave, what about this? What about the old uh, say hello to my little friend horse, Tony Montana? Oh, Tony. Yeah. It, <laughs> <laughs> what mark is he on Thomas? now? Tony Montana. Well, I, I, you, I know at the start of the season, the old Ammo boys were talking about him being a Derby horse, and so I just thought it was he, he, a little angle in there. Whether he'll like the ground, he's by Kingman. I'd say he wouldn't like the ground. I think it's unlikely. Yeah, but I think for the, but he's an interesting line, horse, isn't he? Yeah, down the line. You've got Fox Journey in there as well. I don't think it's Sir Michael Stout who's won this race before. Um, uh, again, probably a bit more to come from him, but this is a deeper race. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, so is this nap time? Without giving it, you know, is this, is no, this no, no, we've got one more to come, haven't we? Mm. All right, and it's actually in the next race, but let's get reminder of the tips out there. Come on, we're getting off to a flight. The ball is big. Kills is Amletto. French invasion? French invasion, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm Westerton each And one. we are full seldom differ. And Brett, you're with the Fab as well. I am indeed, yeah. All right, it's all easy, isn't it? Dreams are still alive on day two at Glorious Goodwood. Let's go to the Oak Tree State Show. It's a group three next for the Phillies and a wide open market. Yeah, this is a good race. I'm um, seeing quite a lot of money for, for quite a few in it. We are paying four places each way here, so of course you're going to get the value. Mm. Um, Matilda Picotte's been, been quite popular um, into nine to one. Again, you're just looking for horses that, that should handle the ground. Um, she's got form on soft ground. She was third in the Guinness, so you'd expect her to go well. Fast response is our favourite at four to one from five, so, so strong support um, for the car book training. And also White Moonlight's been nibbled at as well. Six and a half um, from 15 to two. I mean, winner-wise, I don't want to keep banging the Richard Hannon drum because obviously we, we tend to do quite a lot of work with him. But I think Magical Sunset, she's a filly who, when, when things go her way, she's got some class form. She's being backed into 22s from 28. She does like heavy ground. She thinks she won the Horace Hill at, at Newby last year, you know, under very testing conditions. So she's got to bounce back for a couple of disappointing runs. Um, I'm not saying she's going to win by any means, but I just think at a bit of a price each way, it wouldn't surprise me to see a bit of a result. But from a winner point of view, I quite like the Irish horse, Matilda Picard. Mm, yeah, again, another big day for the Unibet Ambassador Richard Hammond coming up. We're going to hear from Richard prior to the Richmond as well. Stick out for that. Uh, Tom, let's start with you then. Yeah, yeah it's an interesting race. I've, uh, wasn't it five of the last six winners have been drawn in six or lower and the other winner was Bilsden Brook, who was a 1,000 guineas <coughs> winner coming back, you know, she had a massive class edge. So but normally... Last year, Tom, the second got beat by that far, drawn 10. Exactly. Massive price. Exactly. Doing so a little bit. I had him yesterday me because I fancy jum Jumbly and he was saying, how oh, can she win from 12? Well, no, that's what I was going to say. I think to, to, today yeah, might be slightly the, different. The problem is, should the second have won? Yes. Last year. Yes. It yeah. I this is it. I mean, that's, that's what it be, but they didn't win it because it was in because of because yeah. of the draw. So they don't get a run. Got beat that far. Yeah, I know. It's still <laughs> it, went, it went for home too soon, didn't it? I mean, it would have yeah. won if you'd have. Do we I thought she'll run well today, by the way. I, I, th I, I think so, yeah. she's a massive price yeah. international yeah. angel. That we're talking about her, the one that was second last year from stall ten. She's in stall two today. Mm -hmm. uh, she ran according to Racing Post ratings. She ran. She ran in the same Chelmsford race two years running before she came here. La two, last year, when she came second beat in the short head, she ran to 88. This year, she ran to 97. So, she, so the race race rating saying she's in much better form coming into the race than she was last year. question is, will she like the ground? But she's by Dark Angel out of a, yeah. out of a she man. Should, that, to, to, right. to, Where are they going like to go it. in this as well? I mean, if, That's if the it point. Does right. That's the point. I'm, Who knows? I'm hoping you come up to stand. Yourself. Well, this could, this could, could be the race different. skills, couldn't it? Where if we have a deluge, which we thundery showers... We well, we'll, we'll, we'll know after the first race because, I mean, they... They will have had a lot of. They will have had a lot more rain by the time they. If the forecast is right, they'll have had a lot more by the time racing gets underway. Uh, in which case, it'll be at least soft all over. Uh, and you'd imagine they will come. They will come up the stand. So that's what they normally do. Because a lot of people but will even be so, about the wide even so, the bend, yeah, but, yeah, but the bend is. It's probably not quite as bad, but the bend is still pretty quick. Mm. You have still got to mm. come round it. So you're either going to be wide or you're not going to be wide. Uh, and you know, if you're on the inside. 
uh, you still have a better chance. You have an advantage. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't uh, necessarily always play out that way, but there is an advantage. And the horse with the biggest advantage is fast response in stall one. And she goes through a bad ground as well as any horse you'd ever see go through bad ground. <laughs> I mean, it's a, you know, a, a, this time last year she was running in handicap. She only beat um, Lord Ridderford by a neck. <laughs> uh, and then she won two more, including one at Doncaster on absolutely bottomless ground. And she just went away from them. And, you know, the trainer was actually talking about running, preparing her for the Abbey this year. Uh, but she evidently stays a fair bit better than that. And she ran at Chester last time, uh, got a bit, got some cut in the ground finally at Chester last time, but she had the widest draw of the lot. Uh, she got cut off two furlongs from home and flew on the run. And she was, she had no chance whatsoever. How she got within three quarters of a length of the winner. I do not know. So I mean, Clifford Lee will be looking for the cutaway, through. right, and then pounce. Uh, yeah, he'll be looking for the cutaway. I mean, the, the thing is, if you're if you're a hold up horse, you're gonna you, you're gonna run the risk of being in trouble. And I don't like to see him held up last. But I think they sort of had to do that at Chester last time. She certainly got the pace to lay up over seven furlongs to be a bit closer. I wouldn't want to see her dropped out last. But um, she will roar home, and she will just go through the ground better than anything else. And I. You know, there were plenty of extra places going on in this race, and I just thought it was a free bet. Like, you know, when she was uh, when she was fives and bigger. Is this this moment where we have the agreement? Yeah, I think she, I think Kiel's is spot on. I mean, she she just loves the ground, doesn't she? I mean, I backed her at Chester last time, which is my one. I mean, I was the unluckiest <laughs> loser you've ever seen in your life. I had a winner in running. <laughs> oh, it went heavy. There's always one on the outside. I was like, oh my god, no, and I couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. I froze. But finally, at Chester, sometimes they like they like coming out the stand like yeah, further away from the rail these days, yeah. don't they? So yeah, uh, but but I just think that she's going to run really well. We now know she stays seven furlongs. Uh, the question is where they're going to go. I mean, there's lots of other. Jumbly is interesting because she's, she's the best for the race. I do too. I don't even think it's close. I think fast response has got to her mark because of the ground. Jumbly is just quality. That's, that's the question is, will, will will the ground be the leveler? The leveler. <laughs> Jumbly, I think Jumbly goes on the ground. She he, didn't as a two-year-old. She won. She hacked up at Newbury. Yeah. In really soft ground. Really. Yeah. It was heavy ground. That's yeah. it. Um, and she's she's a I think she's a better quality for the two horse race between those two I've got no doubts which one would win yeah do you know what I mean but um, it's just the the circumstances of today's race and how it plays out there are other horses in there of course uh, I, I looked at Breach uh, highly tried good run last time Star that's Spangle, that Sandringham front the, Star uh, Spangle Banner he's, he's mentioned jo obviously John Quinn off to the fly uh, over the first race of the meeting over Lord Ridderford he tends to target this doesn't he. He said the ground would be all right for her, but yeah, uh, listen, it, it wasn't enough to sway me away from fast response today, I've got to be honest. What about Dream of Love? Did anyone fancy yeah, Dream I of Love? Yeah, I, 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 I had her down as a potential danger back on the ground if she comes back to form. Yeah. She should have beaten the Morge on back ground. She should have beaten the Morge, and, but hasn't backed that up since, has she? That's no. The only thing. But, but she ran better. Well, she ran better in the boys, isn't it? she ran better in the Brita in the yeah. Sandringham, didn't she? Yeah, she, she did. She seventh did, she did run better. So she's, you know, she's. If she comes back and, and to that Moore's form, form, then you 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 got to say she's got a right chance. And there were two <coughs> big prices, uh, foreign runners. I know. I want I you to pronounce. I want you to pronounce the trainer of Sam and Rian, please. Oh my please, God, Rian, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not even going to try that. We're not uh, quite 9am yet. I don't think Kills are quite going there. Maybe I've got a deep Rien, I, that. I, can, I can name the horses. Samadhi Rien and Sicilian Defence both have soft ground form. They're both rated <laughs> in the hundreds. Uh, I hope you're doing this at home, by the way, if you're looking at your racing post cards right now, because that is almost unpronounceable and uh, it'll probably go and win now, won't it? Uh, that is well, she finished in... She was third to... She was third in Dubai to yeah, so White not, Moonlight, yeah. but just in front of her. She flew home that day. She's got soft ground form. Yeah. So she's, she's not out of it, as mm. nor is the other one, Sicilian Defence, yeah. who beat her yeah. in France two starts ago. Is Olivia Morales still running? Because uh, there's, a, mm. there's, a, there's a, another good pot in that, I think. I don't think we saw the best of her last time in the jersey. This would be slightly like easy, but they have pulled her out on really soft ground before, so just watch that one. But it's the pick of Kevin Stott, obviously. Um, she could be quite interesting, I think, going forward. But OK, let's get the tips out of the way. Matt, did you give one? Jumbly. Yeah, just whatever, just right in. I just, faith in open. Yeah, I, I mean, I want it to rain heavy and I want them to come more middle to stand side. And, uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be really happy with that. And also the, the mile handicap yesterday, wasn't it? I mean, it's not quite as big an advantage as the seven furlongs, but all the, the first four home were drawn in double figures, weren't yeah. they? Mm. Yeah. Golden mile coming tomorrow, of course. 
Friday. Friday. Yeah. Friday. Friday. What, what day am I on? <laughs> <laughs> so that's when that, that's when the, that's when the rail has moved in as well. So it's decks for that. Term, so of course, it's even it? tighter. Yeah. Uh, the term. But not yet. All right. Okay. So let's just go through it. So three for fast response. Yeah. I one think for so. Jumbly. Jumbly. Williams. I'm going to go for Matilda. Matilda Picard. A bit of classic form. Yeah. Yeah. Trap, trap 16. Very brave, brave, Brett. Yeah. I like, I like White and Moonlight as well. She's going to be the pace angle, yeah. I think, is she probably? I think quite Ocean, tough. Ocean, obviously a disappointing day yesterday. I think he's going to come there, organs blazing, a bit of a point to prove. So I think he could have a good day today. He's got some that's big chances later on, for sure. Yeah, that's got a chance. That Medallia Doro has got a pretty good record on soft ground. Okay, all right, that. that's the dirt horse. All right, that is the second race then. Now there's an offer that's coming up on the screen. Let's get it up and Brett can talk us through. This is money back. Yeah, so money back if you back the, the second or the, or the third, uh, you get your money back in that race. Um, as I said, loads of offers on unibet.co.uk. Um, so yeah, go on there. There's, there literally is absolutely oodles and oodles of offers available on, the, on our website. All right, okay, all right. Uh, is it VT time now? It is, all right. All right, you've heard from us. Let's break it up a little bit because Unibet ambassador Tom Segala, uh, Richard Tom Segala Hammond, asking off the mark yesterday. He's got two-year-olds flying all over the place. Who saw his winner at Ascot on Saturday? Could this be the best of them coming up? About uh, Bahir, who was so impressive at um, Newbury on his second start. Yeah, he's, you know what I think about him. He's done work here and he looks like a motorbike. He went to Newbury, he got beaten by 150 to one shot, but couldn't even beat the third convincingly. I was very disappointed there. Then he rode up in the stalls at Ascot and then he went and bolted up at Newbury. He's very, very quick. He's going to go to the Malcolm and it'll take a, a Ducati to beat him, I hope. <laughs> All right, indeed. Could well take a Rolls-Royce uh, uh, that sort of performance to beat. Uh, of course, that is Bahia. We got told when, when it was, was it the Dante meeting when it made its debut at Newbury? As I said, we, the producers all here at the Racing Post, you know, I mean, Richard does like to talk up a two-year-old every season, doesn't he? This was the one. Of course, it got beaten by a 150 to one shot, didn't it? Yeah, on Heather, Heather Means thing. Yeah. Made better. Yeah, yeah. Not, not the Heather Main thing. <laughs> <laughs> the Richard Hammond thing. Oh, okay. Matty, the exchange. Well, he always gets yeah. good horses, though, doesn't he? He gets good two year olds. That Rosa Line is one of the best two year olds in training at the moment, isn't, isn't it? it? After yeah. that and, and apparently, not the best of them. No, that's right. the best of them. Yeah, that's is the best of well, them. Yeah, what, the, what is the one beginning with S? We were all like, is the one beginning with S? You, no, yeah, I can't you asked about it. Well, I what's did, it called? Sam, the producer, will tell us. Philly. Philly. It's, it's a filly, isn't it? I yeah, Serena Seraph. Sir yes, yeah, Mr. That's Williams, the one you sure you, you were at that carry out? I was like, Brett, you're absolutely <laughs> on one. fire. Yeah, so look, the, the two year olds are flying. We saw the two year old at, at Ascot on Saturday. I, I was there that day, and he just, it, I mean, that was an absolute blitz job. Fan? Yes, big time. Ground? Yeah, fine. I, I love the fact that he's coming back to five from six at, at, at Newbury. He totally bossed the race last yeah, time. Totally he? bossed the race, yeah. And uh, I just, I, I, I thought, he, he held, I think he had an entry in the Richmond as well, didn't he? Mm, yeah. yeah, So, but I was, I was hoping he'd go for it. I didn't fancy him so much in the Richmond. I think they've picked the right race. The ground's going to help him over five and we'll see how good he is because I think it's a really good race. I'm, I'm delighted that someone's got a strong opinion on this. I have to say, Kills, me and you were looking at this earlier and it is a... It is yeah, a I didn't have a strong it. opinion on it just because there isn't much soft ground form to go That's on it. and there's nothing and you, it, you're guessing. I, I don't want to go I don't want to go short of the market when you don't really know uh, where the ground's going. I can see where you're coming from back here and the way Richard Anna talks about him, he's a, uh, he's a proper horse, isn't he? Uh, I was going to have a couple of quid each way on an outsider, Hackman, who does like the ground out it's probably not good enough, uh, and it may well be as simple as that. But he does like the ground. He actually travelled really well. He got thumped it, by Killian it, last it time is, at Sandown. It is as simple as that, mate. Yeah. Look at them. Okay. That's <laughs> 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 why we love Matty. He, I think he, I think he won well at price. He has been backed, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been backed into trials um, from 14s. This is a, this is a cracking race. I mean, you talk about Rich. How he, he, he digs his two rows up. I, mean, I, I rang him. I think I was up at York. And I rang him for, for his blog and I went, went, obviously went through a few runs. And he said, oh, don't forget, I've got this real good two-year-old running at Newbury. It today. was your fault. Yeah, so obviously I told all the producers, you were all on, and then he goes and gets beat by 150 to one shot. Um, but he, he said that by here. He said, like, some of the work he does at home is, is extraordinary. Um, he's a bull of a horse. He's been, he's been gouded. He's, he's not a colt because he was just a, like a bull in a china shop. He was throwing his weight around left, right and centre. So he had to get him cut just to try and just keep a bit of a lid on him. So obviously options are going to be limited where they go later on in the campaign because they're not races you can't run in if you're a Gowden. But I mean, I, I think he's, he's going to go one way or the other. He's going to absolutely bolt up and look brilliant or 
he's going to go like that. Go the wrong way, yeah, yeah, it's going to go. What one price way, is yeah. it at the moment, Brett? Uh, he's he's nine to two from nine. I mean, he's been, he's been half the price. Yeah. yeah, he's been. I mean, he was twelve to one sort of when interest yeah. first came out. So he, he has been real. No. But I did speak to Rich. And I did say, are you are you concerned about the ground? And he did say, I am just a little bit concerned. You know, you you you've, you've got to. He's a big horse, which which would would suggest he would handle the ground. A memo states yeah. to handle the ground, okay. But on the other side of the coin, he's a big horse, so will he handle the track? Mm. You know, you need to be. But he, he said he's got a lot of speed, so yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to question Richard, but yeah, he's, he's being backed um, in a race that is quite quiet. I mean, Keely there on about um, Hackman, he's been being supported into 12s and 14s. Bit of money as well for, for Maracol. I mean, these are just big prices, 33s from 50s. Um, I think people are just trying to find an alternative to get. Is Killian it, strong in the favorite. market? Yeah, Killian steady weight at five to two. Because uh, there was a big hype about him before he ever ran, and then he disappointed twice or seemingly so. He's been the anti post plunge for this, hasn't he? He's got his act together big time, and he just looks a really good. And Sam Downey yeah. was different. So right? professional, yeah. yeah. What's wrong yeah, with big Evs? Well, this is what I was yeah. going to ask you about. Because <laughs> is the ground? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. He's it's possible. Blast out, isn't he? It's possible. He's got yeah. he's got the stand side rail. Yeah. You know, good trainer. Which was a big good thing trainer. Well. He was won the Windsor Castle. You know, in, he, in hand. He was he? really impressive in that. Incredibly form impressive. Looks all right. But I've put him up as a selection because I just like the horse. I'm a snob, I can't have the Northerners. Listen to him! Listen to his voice! He's going to win the you are, you are a turncoat, man. I'm completely. completely. <laughs> You've been down here too long. You're a character puncher now, aren't you? Yeah. So, Big Evs? Yeah, I'd yeah, yeah, I, why not? Yeah, what price is Big Evs at the moment? Because he, he, he sort of a bit lukewarm, but he did tear that apart that winter. Nine to four. Nine to four. Yeah, the favourite. Is he? <laughs> yeah. I thought William was the favourite. I no, did too. Yeah. Not much between them. Five to two, nine to four. There you go. I mean, that, that, that sums it, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm and then... not sure about the race. We end up on the fair. <laughs> well, you, you might just get away from him. And that's what I thought. Yeah. On the stance rail. I know. don't think Bahir will let him go that far. I don't think he, he might not be quick enough to pace. keep... He might not oh, be quick enough so? to... Well, he's a very fast horse, Big Evs. Watch it back on your members club. That went to Castle. Let us know. He might be rated 72 next year, Big Evs. Running at Southall. <laughs> I, mean, I don't see that with Bayer here. Yeah, all right, okay. Uh, right, let's move on then. A, a, a reminder of the tips, Matt. Bahia. Bahia, Kills? I've had a couple of quid each way on Hackman. Hackman. Never mind. Brett. Too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to stick with Bahia. Keeping the company yeah. safe, that's the line. Yeah. I'm, I'm big ebbs, yeah. All right, all right, big ebbs, all right. Okay, let's move on. Uh, it is one of the races of the week, it's the group one of the day, it's the Sussex Stakes. Uh, and a small field. We've got six runners as it stands. Has anything come out yet, chaps, that I've not seen? I mean, I think it's all the, it's just, pa- has Paddington scared them away, Brett? Not really. Well, the fact there's only six runners just suggests that he has to a degree, but yeah, he's, he's odds on four to nine. Um, and he's done nothing wrong, has he? been so impressive. Um, form of the, of the Eclipse has worked out okay. Um, stepping down in trip won't be a problem. I don't think the ground will be. Um, no, won't be. He's, um, won, he's running heavy. It's, it's, it's trying just to find something to finish second to it or will beat it. I don't think there's anything that will beat it, to be honest. We've not seen any money for anything at all. In Spiral's next best at, at seven to two. Um, a very good horse on yeah, the Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I think it's, you, you've got to be quite realistic, haven't you, really? Yeah. yeah. We are, Matt, we, let's we, come to you on this then, because he, he, he's been the story of the season, really. Yeah, he's... Um, he's back down in trip, obviously. What did you make of the form? Did, what, what did we take Emily up John's King George run? To she, me. She, she, can run, she can run that sort of race. Amazing. Um, apparently, there was some talk about her breathing in that, apparently. As, as the connections were coming off track when we were there, there was well, a she ran that, about She that. ran that sort of race, then she just went out like a light. Um, I mean, I think it's just simple, isn't it? He, he's going to win. It's as simple as that. I mean, in spiral, there's, there's ground worries for that. And then the others just aren't anywhere near good. Why are you smiling at me? Because he, it's Kieran's job. Why am I smiling? Sorry. He's never going to go with the full I just saw on the he? screen in front of us that Chind, it's a non runner, which means we've got five. And on Saturday, <laughs> I thought this is going to be absolutely bottomless ground. And I backed three horses each way uh, in the race uh, Al Dari, Factor Cheval, and Sharon. Uh, the 50s, 30s, and 80s. So I've got one in the frame already. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a very happy Paul Keeley off camera there. Well, that's uh, handy. We better allude to right, this. We just want Inspiral to throw in one of her stinkers, and I'll have, I'll, I'll have two in. That's that, that's possible. Can Paddock can get beat realistically? I mean, I have I have put up Factor Javel against him. Yeah. Uh, it's a simple case of they're not machines. He's had a really, really good <laughs> He started in March. 
uh, four group ones in and the last being a hero. Eleven weeks. And I like to have a, I like to have a smash a against yeah, these yeah, odds yeah. on shots anyway. But I mean, you know, he must have had a exactly. He must have had a hard race in the in the eclipse. Um, Emily Updike come out and bombed completely. Now, you know, he's a Giants Causeway type. He's tough as old boots, isn't he? Like, you know what I mean? But you keep going to the well, one day you'll come up short. Yeah. So, stuff it, I'll have a go. Right, okay. Well, Paddington's probably going to win. I, 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 I would think Sparrow's got a chance, though. I mean, I think she'll like the ground. She's by Frankel. She's out of a Selkirk mare. Uh, Dan's a Selkirk mare. We talk about the kids. You know, Selkirk mares normally, you know, they love. Quite an old ad, that, isn't it? But of, of, obviously, do. strongly. I know, the, I know she ran badly. Yeah, at Ascot last year on the softest ground she ran in. She but I miss, think there are excuses. But she misses the break. But if she, she misses, misses the break again and they have a steady gallop and she's got to come, you know. She's she's, a, she's half sister to one of those Sheevely parts. <laughs> she'll run well today. I don't think she'll beat Paddington, but I think she's clearly the second best filly. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's the second best horse we in the race. We play a forecast game, right? Because a lot of people will be looking out there to try and do that, or maybe without markets. You know, I thought she ran like really well at Ascot. I thought, you know, that winner got away for. He could be very fun, good. It was a funny Queen Anne, though, wasn't it? And you I, say that, but it's still the I, Queen I, Anne at I the end of the day. I thought she had every chance to beat that horse, and I don't, I don't, I know that Kevin Ryan absolutely adores that winner, but mm, I wasn't too. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm well, you don't like her. I like. I think she'll run well. I think Paddington will win, though. I mean, the only thing, the only doubt I've got is going to be ground again. I know we, she's, he's won on heavy ground, but that was in a handicap at the start of the season. Yeah. His much best, his best form is at Ascot. I thought, I thought that was when he was most impressive. Yeah, was that so was the impressive. that was the fastest ground he's run on, you know. Uh, so I think he'll win, but yeah. I think in Spiral, it's clearly clear, Miles, the second best horse filly in the, in the second best horse in the race on form. Yeah. If she handles the ground, I think he's she, an absolutely she's a race. fascinating who, horse. Who Paddington, won the race the last time? It yeah. was an absolute bog. Oh, we, we always bring here, it here up. we go again or something like that. Was it? Wait till what's it called? Oh, here, the, here, here comes when. Here comes when. Here comes, comes when. Oh, pretty good when. effort, man. Here here <laughs> if you want to listen, let's take a quick pause. The producers are waving their arms at me and all this sort of thing. We've got to get this. And if you want to, if you're watching us and you think, what are they all on about? I can find the previous winner of these races. I want to look at the RPRs. I want to look at the spotlights and the video. Check this out. only five runners now but we are talking about potentially the best horse on the fact this season um, distances Brett all that sort of stuff yeah so I mean these are the sort of races where you want to get involved with, with distances so we're six to four for him for Paddington to win over two and three quarter lengths or, or six to four to win under two and three quarter lengths and also looking ahead 130 to win the Sussex today and then follow up with success obviously stepping back up would be stepping back up in Tripp in, in the Jubble International so if you fancy getting involved in, in a few of the other sort of specials as well go on to univet.co.uk to win by two and three quarter lengths or less with six to four or over that with the same price but 130 to win today's Sussex you just want to, and you, the you just want to get them home this is you know this is going to be almost identical conditions to when here comes when one because it's going to be driving wind driving rain uh, Ribchester, yeah. Ribchester, 30 to 8 on, officially yeah. 15 pounds superior, got chinned. It's bookmakers ground out there. That's the one thing you've got to worry about. Yeah, well, that distance is, market is one that people love. If Bruce Mullins is watching, I know he was it, so I bet he is now. He would be very interested. Would you go that. over or under? If you have to, if you have to go back. Uh, I'd, I'd be under. I'd be over. I'd go yeah, over. Matt, he's always over. I'd absolutely. Over, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just a more than me. Over, over, <laughs> over or under? Over, I think. Over. All right. Yeah, come on, Baddington. See you over, Tom. Let's see yeah. you've got to go. Uh, Ark, you've mentioned this chapter. Yeah, well, that's, that's what, what I was going to say. I was going to say, stay, now August Rodin's out the way, where are they going to, you know, where are they going to look for an Ark course? I mean, when was one last time the Sussex yeah. winner? Went to the arc. Well, That's it's probably never, max. probably never. But he's won over a mile and a quarter, hasn't he? Uh, he's bred to get oh, it. It's well. by C. Uni, yeah. who was the star of Sotsas and plenty of others that have won. You know, run over a mile and a half. Could he get? Could he end up there? What do you think, Matt? Uh, pro probably not. Probably, will he go to the Irish champion? 
Well, he's got to run something at the end of yeah. the season, haven't they? Yeah, I don't, I don't, well, I don't, they don't. could easily run August Road in the arc anyway. Just hope he doesn't dog it like he did. Did he dog it? Yeah, but he's, yeah. he's won two races this season and he's thrown the towel in for the other two, isn't he? Yeah. They can't yeah. find anything wrong with him. It just depends on what's in his head, isn't it? He wants eight, fight, eight flights of hurdles. He'll be fine. Mm. <laughs> Kills, is, <laughs> Kills is open to be there today, isn't he? Aren't he? Yeah. Um, all right, OK, that's Paddington. Yeah, um, oh, mate, I mean, look, just yeah. don't rule it out. I thought Save the Last Dance might be there, of course, I don't know. Uh, all right, 4.10, we've got to move on. Who's having fun? I'm really enjoying it this morning. <laughs> and we've got a Phillies five furlong race coming up. Uh, Brett, Richard Fahey, Tropical Island. Fav? Yeah, favourite, three to one. Um, impressive at Ripon. Rare that you get a good meet and goes by without a, a winner trained by Richard Fahey. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, this was obviously impressive for us to out. Money-wise, um, Beenham's been the, been the one supported here. 15 to two from tens for Rob Millman and Richard Kingscoat. And what's, again, I mean, the ground for, you know, for, these, for these youngsters at, by the time it comes to that, it's going to be pre-testing and obviously draw is going to play quite a, quite a crucial part. Um, I wouldn't want to be going deep really into this race, to be honest. But yeah, favourite tropical island, island at threes. Mm. I like Flora of Bermuda here quite a lot. That's that Queen Mary form. Disappointed, flattered a few times, hasn't she? Like, I loved her first time. Obviously. The Beverly run, Sandown. I think they expected her to win, didn't yeah. she? Whether she quite was seen at her best. I think she's a traveller, not a quickener, you know? Yeah. She was first home on her side in the Queen Mary, but she was being, you know... She I think Balding like this for a little yeah. bit. I, I like her. I thought she was the good value in this. Uh, a low draw. Came down the middle yesterday, didn't they? I know that Royal Ridderford was on the stand side and the two-year-old was there, but I don't think it'll be too much of a hindrance. Mm. Existent finished second in that race. He flew home down the middle. So she'll do for me. She's one of my stronger plays of the day, Tom. I thought it was really hard. I mean, Tropical Island hasn't got the form to be favourite, but she did look really good at Ripon. Didn't she? Really good. And, that's she, and that was on with soft the, ground. With the ridges, she's doing, that'll stand in good stead for today. She, I, I think she's a good she didn't know She didn't know what she was doing early either, did no. she? she? That's the that stall, slight so. an issue for me here, if I, she gets too far back. I think she'll win. Yeah, but she's not be a bad on Ripon form. Yeah, I know we saw it at the commentary, didn't we? Know, well it's, to go there, it's but. tough to go and win there on the Second time out, they know what they're doing as well, don't they? She could be first out of the stalls for all we know this time, didn't she? She could be a lot better. Beanham did look to. Hacked the track very, very well when she hacked up here earlier in the season. So I can sort of understand the money for that, especially with a draw in 11. Yeah, I thought Dappling had a chance, Richard Hannon's horse, uh, because I thought that I think I'd normally hate the super sprint. I think it's a bit of a waste of time. But I thought it was really good this year. I love Relief Rally, the winner. I think she's the best two year old filly we've seen. And she was second, and she was in front of Beanham, and she was in front of Junior Bruce. And I just thought at the prices, she might, she might run well, uh, Dappling. Don't know if she'll like the ground. She's, she's certainly got enough runs to her belt, hasn't she? Yeah, she's, she's getting better. Run. That's the thing, isn't she? All right, don't mind that with Phillies. Kills? Yeah, it was Tropical Island for me, just. Platinum, Queen, Platinum Queen won this last year, didn't she? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah. Isn't, there isn't one of them in it, though, is there? She won at Ripon, that, didn't she? Yeah. Platinum yeah. Queen. Yeah. Yeah. But it just, it's just far he likes the race, obviously. Mm. He's, got, he's, he's picked a good one to go, to go at yeah. it again. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, Brett? I like Flora Bermuda. I backed it at Ascot, backed it at Beverly, so it owes me a few quid. Yeah. So. It owes me a few quid as well. That's why I've ditched it. Maybe third time looking today, yeah. seven to two. All right, we're agreeing on that one then. All right, that is the, uh, that's the 4.10. That's the ultimate race, I think, isn't it? Uh, we've got, uh, that we've got coming up now at 4.45. It is sticking with the Phillies. It is a handicap. It's over a mile two. Brett, who have we got here? There's some very unexposed, interesting horses here. Yeah, I love these sort of races. We're paying four places each way here, so... Going to get a bit of, bit of value each way. Um, La Isla Majer is his, his favourite, and Wow backed at five to two um, from eleven to four. Um, Queen Regents, the money horse as well, thirteen to two uh, from eights. Couple he's making the handicap debuts, and um, obviously switching to to the turf from the all weather for, for for John and Thady Gosden um, and Sirona as well, nine to one from from twelves. I quite like Rousse actually. Um, she's got she's not she's not one at the track, but she's had three runs at Goodwood. She's finished placed on every occasion. Um, and she goes on soft ground, so Russo could be quite interesting at a slightly bigger price, but uh, no, um, a wild back favourite in that. Well, it's hard not to be impressed with Salisbury, wasn't it? I mean, both Beckett's had three runners in this in the past decade, two of them have hit the net. Yeah. Um, this looks pretty pretty straightforward to me, I think, with this one. Yeah. I mean, as always, do sound to like a bit of cut in the ground as well That's and go weird, well. That, isn't it, She's got do. a staying pedigree, yet there's no negatives next to her name. Yeah, strong? No, not for me. I'm not, even, uh -huh. I'm not backing it. I'm just waiting in with you. Yeah, yeah. Once again, you, uh, you have a go at it, Dave. Crack on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to bet value added each way. I mean, she can't beat decoration on the Windsor form. Yeah. But, but 
Who trains that, Matty? Richard Hughes, some okay. guy Richard Hughes. Yeah. So you're doing he, a little bit of a dance with him yesterday? Yeah, at the, at the track? He, he can't dance, can he? I can. <laughs> I, I can. Yeah. 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 So no, it can't be decoration on the Windsor form, but she was asked to make the run in there and she was dashing in front. Today I think she's going to be held up, um, out the back, and then she'll just come through. And I think she's a good each way bet, actually. Mm, she's, she's, she's better than what the bare form is. And she, she just got chinned at Newby last year in heavy ground. So that won't be a problem for her. And I, I love the jockey booking as well. She she bossed it at Wolverhampton. Did she have to, at Wolverhampton. Did she have to go for a stalls test after that? She, I went for a stalls test after. she. It was a Windsor. She went to Windsor yeah, earlier okay. in the year. Because she was a little bit reluctant to get yeah. in there, but you don't mind that with Quaker Philippe. No, she, she, she was, but she was a lot better at Wolves. And she, I expect she'll be better again. Yeah, she thrashed um, them there, didn't she? It was a, yeah, that was, a, that was a penalty kick. Matty tipping a Richard Hughes horse, you have been told. Tom? Yeah, well, I think La is La Mujeras. See what I did there? It's my Spanish O-level coming in. Uh, <laughs> uh, you couldn't <laughs> pronounce the trainer earlier. No, I'm not going there. What, not going there. That's level? not O-level. <laughs> 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 it's O-level. People are asking out there, I imagine. Yeah, uh, I think she'll win. I thought she was really impressive at Salisbury. I think she'll probably end up being a... a you know, she'd probably end up running in those, one of those Doncaster listed race at the back end and going Love very it. close for Rafe Beckett. I thought there were a couple of other chips and rice. I'm not chips and rice. Surely it should be chips or rice. It should be it, chips, curry and rice. Yeah, yeah. or something. That Can't be chips. No one has chips and rice, do they? It's the carbaholics <laughs> will be loving it out there. Yeah. Well, she, she likes soft ground. I thought she'd go well. And the other one was bottom one, never ending, who I was impressed with at the start of the season in the Newmarket Maiden. She finished off really well. Now, it wasn't a brilliant Newmarket Maiden. The, you know, they never... Will she like the ground? Don't know. But I thought she might be the best of the uh, Cheveley Park triumvirate. Mm, one of three for Cheveley Park. What about you, Kills? Well, it, it goes to show how competitive this race is because you've mentioned about 10 of the 12 runners and you haven't mentioned the one that I've backed. <laughs> uh, so uh, I've backed There's the Door. Oh, okay. yeah. I think she's an improving filly who likes soft ground, wants soft ground. And I thought she was going to be a big danger last time at Ascot. She just did not see it out over a mile and a half. So dropping back... Uh, to a mile and two on soft ground, I think it's going to absolutely be bang on conditions, and she is a horse going forwards. But there are, you know, as you see, there are plenty of interesting runners in the race. I know where you're coming with La Isla Mujeres. Uh, was that right? No, no, no? Was that failed. Kills can't spell O level, then why not? What about the decoration, Brett? She's been weak, <laughs> hasn't she, for considering the colours, if you like, and the connections, and Roger Berry and David Egan? Yeah, 13 to 2, wow. steady away. Um, yeah, you know, this has got you know, an expose, a good, decent second last. So I won a couple before that, but yeah, steady away. It's a very quiet betting heat, really, apart, apart from the favourite, who I'm not, again, going to try and pronounce it, like Ila Mujeres. Mujeres? Mujeres. Apart from that, that, that was considerably that worse than me. That was a lot yeah. worse than you. That's, a, that's an F. <laughs> For you Just younger. past 9am. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Alright, okay. What about Queen Regent? Let's have a chat about that because it, uh, this is John and Thady. That was the eye catcher behind Value Added, wasn't it? She was steaming home that day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's, she's probably... I don't know whether would like the ground. don't know. Roar and line, I don't know. I mean, we're not he yet. didn't. Did he? Not got that much stock to tell us. It's out of a rainbow quest. Amazing style, though, isn't he? He's been. It's such a yeah, shame. Yeah, yeah, proper shame. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I, yeah, I thought she was quite interesting. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, you you got to be liking that. All right. So you didn't get you didn't get much traction there, mate. I didn't. To be fair, I didn't. <laughs> no. Uh, again, there's a thing going on here. I think. Well, there we are. Uh, all right. Okay. Sixteen to one shot, roughly. Then value added. Yeah, it's each way. Yeah. It's well named. Yeah. Kills. Remind us. There's the door. Brett. Queen Regent. Okay, finally, some traction. We're getting on. Uh, Tom? The Spanish one for me. <laughs> I'll go for the Spanish O level as well. Then. There we are. All Number right. six. No, love it. All right, okay. Who's been having fun? It's time flies when you're having it, doesn't it? And we've got the final race coming up then. Uh, 520, isn't it? I think it's a seven furlong handicap and another tricky puzzle to solve. Let's go to the head of the market with Brett. Yeah, um, Ros Rosalind's a favourite, 130. You can't even pronounce that. Rosalind, <laughs> 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 You were better at Mahera, <laughs> <Mahera's laughs> yeah, stick right. to the Spanish <laughs> brand. Yeah. as well. Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that second, that last bottle of wine that you, yeah, needle finally <laughs> that you needlessly it. ordered. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, anyway. Burn, yeah. Number five's a favourite, <laughs> 130. Um, Urban Sprawl's been quite well backed. Yeah. Uh, 15 to 2 from 10s. Um, physique, a bit of money for that horse. We're paying five places each way here, so again, you're going to get some value. Um, I quite like classic. If he handles the ground, 
Um, I think he could be really interesting. I know Rich has always had him in high regard. He's not obviously worked out as good as they thought. Um, you know, this time last year he was their Guinness horse, but he's, he's taken a bit of time. He was impressive at Sandown last time. I think he's only two pounds higher than Sandown. Um, he's the sort of horse I think once he's got his head in front, he just might sort of get a bit of sequence, and you know, um, you know, his confidence will be will be pretty high. And I just think he could be quite mm. interesting. I think he's still quite tr- quite fairly treated. Just he's got two pounds. Dark high. thirty in here as well, yeah. isn't he? And surely it's going to be the plan to follow that one, isn't it, Tom? You know? Well, I would have thought so. Dark thirty ran really well, didn't he? That was a prob- he probably bumped into a group horse in Kinnelt last time, didn't he, in that race? But he's he's kept on really well. It's up to seven furlongs this time. He's installed two, so he'll he'll probably go out in front of plenty of pace on here. Ross Golding won't be far off the pace, will he? And you know they'll go pretty hard. I quite like physique, something that did not they many. Run well in, uh, yeah, in some, really heavy on. Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah ran so well where here. Are you going with that? Yeah, <laughs> no one's ever said <laughs> me and physique in the same sentence. It doesn't oh. happen very often, but uh, I liked uh, physique's two runs here. He ran very well in soft ground here. Yeah, three starts ago, and even did. better when he was just behind darkness. He should have won that day. Uh, and that was on fast ground. But then he ran, went to the Britannia at Ascot and ran pretty well, didn't get the trip, but he was on the fast side. He was away from the pace and did pretty well. Mohamed Tabdi gets on very well. Yeah. I just thought he'd run well at a big price for Zeke, I think. The ground is a slight issue because if it gets really bad, he's mm. by Kingman and they shouldn't really love bottomless ground. But he did run well here earlier in the yeah, season on soft ground. Day and he did plenty soon enough that day. Went I too think, hard. So, and the yeah. next time they held him up and he didn't get going quite quick enough, I think he's a little bit better than his mark, let's put it like that. Right. And his two year old form, I mean, just. He, when he won at Newmarket last year, it worked out like gangbusters when he was second in his first two-year-old race and then he went on and won there. That means lots of good horses in behind him that day. We've got Classic, we've had Physique, Matty. Just going to keep it simple, Ross Collin. Um, he's a bit of a cliff horse for me. Uh, you're not alone. You know, I, just, <laughs> I mean, he probably, he probably should have <laughs> <Exactly. yeah. laughs> probably should've, should've won last time the class of the race, but I, just, I wanted to see him get back on track and it was getting back on track last yeah. time. He loves this place. He's... he's you know, he's come right down in the weights. He loves the ground. I, th- I think it's... If, if he doesn't win this, he's, he's in trouble, if he isn't already. What's his name again? Ross Colin. Oh, yeah. What did you say? <laughs> Ross Colin. <laughs> but I'm laughing like yeah. what you said first, first crack, but I don't even remember. <laughs> you, should, you obviously got <laughs> right. the tattoo. Oh, right? I, know his, name. I know his name. I need, to have, I need to have a serious bet on him just to get the money back that I've lost on him already this season because I kept going <coughs> in and in and I actually declared after the penultimate run I'm no, never going near him again because he doesn't want to know and then what happens he comes out and runs a much better race blindfold came off late last time as well yeah. didn't it so he had he loads did. to do he travelled great didn't yeah he? and he travelled great he just looked more enthusiastic now we think he's been to He's been to Goodwood five times. He's, 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 he's won there. He's been second in a Golden Mile. His worst <laughs> racing post rating there is 100. His best is 111, and he's running off 87. So, I mean, even if, he, even if he gets back to the level of the worst, he'll win easily. He's only five as well. It's and he's only five. So, if he, if, you know, he's still I got to... I'm getting ground dog still got to come back. a little bit with you. I mean, this oh, is well, yeah, 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 I mean... If I close my eyes, I'm back in Epsom or whatever, uh, or wherever it was. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, and I'm not going to be anywhere near the race course when that race is run anyway, so I'll stay out of it. <laughs> I'll, I'll get attacked by people. You'll have to wait until tomorrow to give <laughs> him his <laughs> belt exactly. for his round of applause. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's the final race then. Before we go into our charity bets and our naps, just a reminder, Tom, physique. Yeah. I'm with Brett with Classic. It's, again, not really a race, but I can see that he's probably been aimed at this and I can see the tactics working out for him, Matt. Ross Collin, and I'll have a little bet on Love the Vega as well, Johnson's. Well handicapped on its best, yeah, Frankie on. Yeah, ran okay on its reappearance, belated reappearance. I'll have to have a little go on and that. And another one you think in Goodwood when you saw it, probably. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right, okay. Kills, obviously, we. This is a two pointer, is it? <laughs> no, no, I went one. I couldn't bring myself to actually, <laughs> <laughs> you to actually go any further than that. Kind man to the punters out there who knew. Right then, the business end of the show. It's charity bet time. And uh, Brett, we were amazed that you made it on time. So let's give you the floor. <laughs> Floor of Bermuda for me in the in the four ten. Oh jeez, we're green. I've gone for that as well. That's oh, a double right. down. Well, so I change the charity. It then? No, so no, I no. It. Just go for it. This because that'll be fifty quid. You know, I do like Urban Sport in the last course and distance winner as well. He beat a few of them, didn't he? Yeah. Including Classic, I think, when he won in that. No, no, no. Let's double up. Stick All right, let's go then. for it. Keels. Fast response. Player yeah, of the day. For me, player of the day. Love the ground. Got to go close. Matt. French invasion, I think. Close All in, in the opener. Yeah, just see how we go. Big price. Could be better than these. Tom? Well, I think La is La Mujeres is probably the, the best bet of the day, but I would like Physique in the last as a chair for a try and win a few quid. And I'll give you your O level for that. Thank you very much. No worries. Yeah. Okay, whoever thought I'd be doing that to Tom Seeger. <laughs> uh, all right, I've been Dave Orson. This has been The Morning Dash. We will be back 
tomorrow, same time, 8.30. It's been fun, gents. Thanks very Love much. It. Thanks for having us. Yeah. yeah, always a pleasure, Matty. Yeah. Keels, good luck today. Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, yeah we're looking forward to it. Yeah, you're having a day away from the track today, aren't you? Uh, well, it's going to be brutal weather, Should we it? tell them actually what you yeah, are doing? Brutal we're weather. Going we're going to the book. Well, you're going, going to, the, you're going going to have an old school day. Going to old school, yeah. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm, I'm going to knock some work out first, but then we're going to spend all afternoon you're in going the book. You're going for a workout first? No, I've got to knock some work out. I was going to say he's going for a workout. Bring the defib. Yeah. Uh, Brett, back on course? Yeah, I'll be there. Uh, yeah, I'll be I'll with be, you, mate. I'll be taking one for the team. I'll be there. All right, great stuff. And Tom, you're back with us later in the week. Yeah, tomorrow I'm here. Marvellous. All right, this has been the Morning Dash in association with Unibet here at the Racing Post. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment and share. That's what it's all about. See you tomorrow.